Hey everyone and welcome to Excellent Knowledge. Todi we're going to learn about 7 powerful ways to respond when your child complains. Now let's begin. Complaining and whining are two of the most frustrating things parents face. They are also completely normal. In fact, the average adult complains 30 times a day or 9 minutes total. Kids complain for lots of good reasons. To blow off steam. To connect with us. Because they feel powerless. Other times, the complaints might mask an underlying emotion that needs to be released. Whatever the cause, complaining and whining are opportunities to help our kids find better ways to express their feelings and shift to a more positive mindset. While it's normal to vent sometimes, frequent complaining is not a healthy option. A study at Stanford University showed that complaining shrinks the hippocampus, an area of the brain necessary for problem solving and emotion regulation. Here are some strategies to help kids express their dissatisfaction in healthier, more positive ways. Define it. Discuss the nice voice or strong voice inside of everyone. How does that voice sound? Practice asking for things with a strong voice. Listen and validate. Make eye contact, do not interrupt, and accept without judging. Use the, I hear you, and, method. For example, I hear that's not what you wanted, and we have no control over the weather. Give a choice. When your kids start to complain, clarify what they want to happen as a result. Say, it sounds like you're frustrated right now. Do you need to vent or do you want to make a plan? Rephrase and reframe. Rephrase complaints as a want or a wish. If your child hates her new toy, say, you want a different toy. You are a child who knows her likes and dislikes. Set limits, give a time limit for complaining or set aside a daily complaint time. This is ideal for kids who whine frequently and need greater limits. Respond playfully. Once kids know about their strong voice, how to use it, playfully offer to find it when it disappears. Say, hey, where did your strong voice go? It was here a minute ago. Help me look. Is it under the chair? Hey, you found it. Now let me hear you use it. Find the good. Empathize and then help kids notice the positive. Empower kids with several key questions. What can you learn from this? How would you like things to be? How can you take 